NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now with two locations in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side and 1101 Highland Avenue. Call Cedars East, 724-658-9260 or Cedars North, 724-652-7657. The Beanery Depot and Deli. Coffee, made to order subs, snacks, and more. Meatball sandwiches, fresh and hot. Pepperoni rolls, fish sandwiches, chicken, milkshakes. The Beanery Deli. When you're hungry for something special and it won't cost you a lot of beans. Oh, and welcome once again to the Cedar Sports Corner and uh, featuring North County Baseball. We've been uh, giving this to you every Wednesday. And uh, now as we make the turn and we head into the home stretch and into the playoffs, uh, let's take a look at how things have been moving along. On the 19th of July, the DB Movers topped Castlewood. Yes, Kyle Campbell tossed a complete game, four-hitter, and gave up only one earned run in a tough loss to league-leading DB Movers. Castlewood's next game would then be on Saturday the 23rd against the Pittsburgh Americans, and that was at Brady's run. This, their, the season's final game, was on the 25th at Flaherty Field against the Jacks. So uh, things began to <coughs> head down, excuse me, head down the stretch in North County baseball. On the 21st, the Summertime Heroes topped the downtown Jacks 11 to 1. Mike Nuzo held the Jacks in check on the mound. Recording another victory, Micah Felina finished off the Jacks with relief appearance. In another league action, in what was shaping up to be a prelude to the playoffs, the Broadhead Bombers held off the DB Movers 5-4. You might recall there in first and second place, respectively, the DB Movers squad scored four runs at the bottom of the seventh to make the game interesting, rich, absay, uh, came up to pick up the save for the Bombers who were rallying. Uh, now, then again, last week, the 25th, it was certainly a d great day for baseball. And we're going to uh, read something with Mendel Altman and Ken Price later in the show. The afternoon began with some of the players getting timed and logged in the 60-yard dash. Uh, prior to the game by Bobby Mitchell, a touch of eloquent presentation is recorded by Mark Alisco, who honored the legends of the game. Uh, solid uh, pitching was turned in by Castlewood, was provided by Kyle Campbell and Kyle Allen, both teams Substituted freely with Castlewood ending the season with the best record in quite a few years. It was Castlewood 9 and the downtown Jacks 4. Now, when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming games, the playoffs, and uh, give you that um, little special touch with those old timers that showed up at the game. We'll be right back after this pitching change.
Come to Big Polly Sports Bar in Newcastle. The place is spacious with all the seating you'll need with two bars and a huge menu that features wings, pizza, sandwiches, burgers, pasta and fries. Big Polly's is just right to watch the game. You'll love the sports memorabilia throughout the bar. There's plenty of parking too. Big Polly's Sports Bar in Newcastle at 207 East Long Avenue. Call 724-658-8800 at 658-8800. Gentlemen, if you want to look your best with high quality clothing, then I recommend Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle. Mike Caggiano is the owner and he and his staff have been in the business for decades and they will always give you the right recommendations. They also carry Rondinelli tuxedos. That's Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors, 210 East Washington Street, downtown Newcastle. Call 724-652-3851. Welcome back. And before we took that quick time out, we were talking about some of the guys that had uh, made it to the game and um, were kind of the old timers around here. This in from Ed Yorn. How do you make an old guy who stares out the window all day smile. It's a ball game. That was the message that was received from Bobby Mitchell, associate scout for the San Diego Padres. Monday night, the regular season of Beaver Lawrence County semi pro baseball ended with a matchup between Castlewood and the Downtown Jacks. It was only fitting that the newest team to enter the league was matched against the longest established semi-pro team in Pennsylvania, Castlewood. Through thick and thin, Castlewood has maintained a spot in the league that was normally known as North County Baseball. And it was also fitting that the men who organized the first Castlewood team 61 years ago were in attendance. Keith Price, the staff at Avalon Nursing Home, headed by Karen Borio, transported Keith to the game. Sporting a custom-made T-shirt, shirt, custom-made and courtesy of RA Screening, Coach Price looked ready once again to lead the Castlewood 9 to victory. Also honored in attendance was longtime player, coach, and umpire Mr. Mendel Altman. It didn't get much better. It didn't matter matter much, excuse me. It didn't matter much how you came in contact with Mendel, whether you were playing or having him officiate a game. The opinion was always the same. Class act, his accomplishments, dedication to local sports is legendary. Mr. Altman was also quite a player in his day. Uh, The infielder held his own on the diamond while playing on the U.S. Army team in the service. As a second baseman, he uh, played alongside future Hall of Famer Ernie Banks. Banks was quoted when asked about Altman. He had good speed, good fielder, great leader. He was really a great ball player. I'm surprised he didn't make it in the majors after he got out of the Army. When he was playing in the days were over, Mr. Altman coached youth baseball and officiated games and involved in local sports for over 50 years. The two guys' impact on baseball will never be surpassed or even matched. I thought the memories that they must have of the game, you could not help but be in awe and bask in the history before you. I didn't want to interrupt their day at the ballpark with what must have seemed like idle chatter to them about former players and the like. You could see the sparkle and gleam in their eyes as they gazed out on the playing field that night while taking the game. You could see how comfortable and content they seemed being in their element despite the heat. Of course, you could see their smiles. 
Now, uh, that in from Ed Yorin. And um, Ed, thanks for sending that in. Congratulations on those great memories and great days by both those players. And, you know, as I said, there's a lot of great baseball being played up there. And um, if you missed it this season or wasn't able to attend, well, that's kind of unfortunate. We're going to take a timeout right here real quick. And when we come back, we'll talk about the playoffs. The Branding Iron Bar and Grill, a great place to gather. Some examples from the menu, 45 cent jumbo wings with 30 different kinds of sauce, meatball sub and fries, 550, hot cheese balls and burgers, and delicious large sandwiches. Stop in during happy hour, 430 to 730. You can dine in or take out. The Branding Iron Bar and Grill is located at 2221 Ben Franklin Highway, Edinburgh. Call 724-658-1210. Yes, I'm in Mr. Pizza. <laughs> Hi, we're here with... <laughs> Sydney. And, Hi. <laughs> and it looks like you girls have had a great lunch. Can you tell me what you have, Sydney? The ham and cheese sub. Oh, today's special. <laughs> what did you have? I had pepperoni pizza and part of the ham and cheese sub. And they were both very good. Hey, it's always best when you get your food and somebody else's. <laughs> and here at Mr. Pizza, what a great time. Stop down. Check out the special. Welcome back. And um, the playoffs were set. And it featured... Uh, uh, the playoff schedule for the Summertime Heroes. Game one was on the 27th with the Summertime Heroes at the Broadhead Bombers. That was down in Brady's Run. Game two, the Broadhead Bombers and their Summertime Heroes were at Flaherty Field. In game three, the Summertime Heroes and the Broadhead Bombers were at Brady's Run. And then if necessary, they came back to Flaherty Field and then down to Brady's Run. Well, Here's how things shaped up. On the 27th, the Broadhead Bombers uh, in game one of a best of five series in the semifinals featured Bombers Stefan, and uh, pardon me, Stefan, I can't say the last name, scattered seven hits and struck out eight. Kevin Welch led the Bombers at the plate, collecting Three of his team's eight hits and driving in two runs. The Heroes jumped out to a two-run lead in the first, but the Bombers bounced back with a couple of runs in the third and by three more in the fourth inning. Joey Borelli led the Heroes at the plate, collecting three extra base hits. And the Bombers, five. The Summertime Heroes, two. The teams met again in game two. In game two, the Heroes rallied at the bottom of the half of the sixth to tie the score 7-7, only to see the Bombers score twice in the top half of the seventh. Three errors by the Heroes aided the Bombers, who struck out 15. The Bombers, nine. The summertime Heroes, seven. And uh, that set up a Saturday game at 1.30 at Brady's Run for the Heroes, who have dropped the first two games in this best-of-five series as do or die. Now, in that game three, it was rained out, and we were not able to collect any information at the time of this being aired. So um, next week will be... Uh, Heading down the playoffs for what I call North County Baseball. Now, um, for the major leagues, what you're looking at is the Battling Bucks. They're down in Atlanta. They're going to be taking on Atlanta. There's uh, today's Wednesday game and Thursday, and then they'll head to Cincinnati. Well, the Tribe... They're entertaining the Minnesota Twins and uh, currently in first place. Now, that was the Cedars Sports Corner. 
We'd like to thank you for watching and make sure that you stop by Cedars for great lamb, wings, and burgers and fries and so much more. The Cedars Sports Corner brought to you by Cedars. And don't forget our other sponsors who are proud to bring you community television. Till next time, have a great one, guys, and we'll see you on the Cedars Sports Corner.